Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, the reason I didn't make this earlier was because I wanted to wait for enough fees bleh, feed feedback. Sorry, I can't talk today. Um, before I started making more, and so far I've gotten tons of positive feedback. You guys want to see more? You guys want to learn more coding, how to get it online, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is the most frequently asked request how do you get it online so other people can play now it's really easy but it's probably the hardest part to making a runescape private server once you get this you can do it like no problem um, you need a no IP and you need to know how to port forward now they're pretty easy for the Let's just do the no IP first. You want to go to www.no-ip.com and I'll put all the links in the description so you don't have to remember them. You would have to make an account if you haven't already. I already have, so I'm just going to log in. Now, when you log in, it should bring you to a place or a page like this. If it doesn't, go up here and click host slash redirects and it, it'll bring you here. Now, click add a host and it'll bring you to a page like this. Now, host name is whatever you want, so I'll just do RSPS tutor. And then you just choose whatever you want here. I always do .no-ip.biz just because it's easy. And that's your IP. And that's going to be the IP that you put in your client code. Now after you do that, you can see it's right here. Now you click download client over here. You choose your operating system. I'm running Windows 7, so I choose Windows and then you just click download and when you download it and install it you'll open it and it should look like this if yours doesn't have three check marks it's because you're not hosting your IP that you just created so you click select hosts and then you check the box that you just created so there's RSP tutor so you would check that one or check whatever one you m made uh, I'm going to keep mine selected because I'm still hosting my private server. And then that's done. Now for port forwarding. This is going to be the hardest part. You want to go to portforward.com. Again, this will be in the description. And it will bring you to this website. And you want to go to this website because this is the part that I can't help you with. Because your router is obviously not the same as mine. So what you want to do is look for your router and once you find it you want to click on it it'll bring you to this page it'll say oh do you want to buy this no you click top right corner click here to skip this advertisement and it'll bring you to this page and this is what do you want to port forward for and it's got all the games you can port forward for and you click under R runescape private server once you do that, it tells you exactly how. Like, it's a full, complete guide for every single router. So, you should be able to get that. Um. Yes. Uh, to get to your router, you go WTF is my IP.com. And. It shows you your IP address, and then you just go, you enter in your IP address, and it'll bring you to your router page. And the default password or username and password is admin and admin. So try that first. If it doesn't work, mine is just admin, no password. And then when you log in, you just have to follow the guide. So I can't help you with that because it's not the same. And now once you have that set up, 
no, you can test it, by the way, if you go to canyouseeme.org. Can you see me? Sorry. Can you see me? Dot org. And then in here, you use the RuneScape private server port, which is 43594. And then you click check. And then down here, it'll say if it can see you. It, see, it says success. I can see your service on port 535. 43594, sorry. And that's what you want. You want it to say success. If it says error, then you didn't port forward right. So you want to go back to the guide and look. Now that we're done with port forwarding and the no IP, you want to go into your client. And in here, there's a bunch of class files and Java files. Now you don't, you don't edit the class files, just the Java files. So you want to go up to search and go client dot java and that'll bring up this one and you just open it in notepad the reason mine looks different is because I'm using notepad plus plus it helps for programming and you click or you press control F and you search for server equals and then hit next and it'll show right here now there should be two. This one, okay, let me see how I can explain this. Okay, first of all, I'll explain a comment. A comment is two slashes. Anything on the same line as those two slashes will turn green and they won't affect the program. So it's like they're not there, but you can have them in there without deleting them. Now, if you want to play your server, it'll be this one. Server equals 127.0.0.1 because that's your local host IP. Now, if you want to distribute it to other people, and you would change this to whatever you made your no IP. So if you forget that, you can open up this, go to select hosts, and then as you can see, mine was RSPS Tutor. So RSPS Tutor dot no dash ip dot biz and then you want to save it then you can close it go back here now the most important part about editing something in your source or your client is compiling compiling is like um i guess it would be an ultimate save you can save your work and you can go back in it and it'll still be there but unless you compile it it won't take place and it won't change anything so you compile it this black box will come up you just gotta wait a couple seconds and then it'll say a couple lines and it'll say it successfully compiled yeah there you go successfully compiled press any key to continue and now now you can right click it add to archive um, make it a dot rar file upload upload it somewhere and you can give it out to your friends and they can log online now if you if you run it and you try to log in no oh, one sec I must have yeah okay one sec sorry sorry I must have deleted my cache so I'll pause this and then I'll come back when it's done okay sorry about that now I should have it yes I do have it so when I run the client it'll pop up and it'll load it will load oh sorry the garbage truck is loud and when you try and log in I'll say connecting to server and then it'll come up with an error that says it can't connect to server now that's because 
if you go back in here search client.java again you see here that's because of this the only way for you to be able to play the server is if server equals 127.0.0.1 that's the only way you can't connect through your no IP it doesn't work so after you change that after you upload it to somewhere change it back compile it again you're gonna have to restart your uh, client and I got like 10 seconds left I'm not even sure uh, run your client as soon as it loads okay and there you go now you can log in because you're on 127.0.0.1